So here we are in conversation with Canada Shipbuilders right here in the Heddle Shipyard in St. Catharines, Ontario. What a great day it is. A lot of activity happening around me. Noise, banging, welding, ships going to sea. What a place it is. What great people we're in conversation with. Tyler, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Tyler. I'm a uh, uh, production manager at the, for the Port Weller location at the Heddle Shipyards. Tyler, you weren't always the uh, production manager. No. How did you get here? Where did you come from? Well, uh, to start, I actually uh, did an apprenticeship in a trade, a pipe fitting trade, and uh, at uh, I worked on the East Coast in shipbuilding. Uh, at that time, I got to be involved in the private sector shipbuilding and the public sector shipbuilding. I've uh, been involved in the Felix program, so I got to work on some of the frigates, Halifax, and uh, Build of Quebec, uh, Iroquois, among others. And uh, after uh, years in shipbuilding, I made my way to the oil and gas industry. Did that for a while, and then uh, this opportunity was available, and I came here uh, uh, doing uh, piping supervising, and then uh, opportunity presented itself to be the production manager, so here I am. Tyler, you're no stranger to being around ships by the sound of it. No, no, not my first rodeo. This is not your first rodeo. No. That's fantastic. Heddle is lucky to get you, I guess. Well, that's, uh, it, it's mutual because uh, I didn't truly understand when I got here that I came here at the right time. The right. company was on its way up. So I was, uh, it was, uh, it was, it was, I felt very fortunate to be able to come at this time when the company's in such a growth mode. Tell me now, what is that growth mode? Because it's pretty exciting. Terry Fox will be here in 13 months, eh? Yeah, so when I got here, the Amundsen was here, and the Amundsen was a, a good project in itself. It was a good opportunity for Port Weller to to uh, work on a ship of that capacity. And then now they got the George Perks, and there's a large scope on that uh, in the Hamilton location. So so knowing that the bid for the Terry Fox was won, and we have this $135.5 million project, it's... Uh, it's huge because you know VLEs and the opportunities down the road. It's uh, it's it's a huge opportunity for myself. It's a huge opportunity for anybody who's uh, looking for not the boom and bust ship building, but the uh, opportunity to you know have a family and and be able to, to have a career more than just a job. Yeah, and that's so that's so important right now, right? It's a a long term career and Heddle's on track to make that happen and realize that, yeah. right? You know, and that must be. That must be an amazing feeling. Tell me about the team here. So you must be one of the senior guys, a lot of experience. Tell me about what it's like to work on this team. From the top down, um, Rick Heddle and Sean Badulo, the vision they have for the company, um, they're the right people in place. They they really know what they're doing. The, it, without them, we wouldn't even be in this situation. And as you make your way down, I, you know, I, I'm with the guys on the ships a lot. And uh, between our welders, electricians, pipe fitters, uh, uh, mechanical team, uh, laborers, laborers, such an important part of the group. Um, health and safety. Um, everybody here, everybody here is unified with the idea that we know that shipbuilding has been in Ontario in the past, but to give it the revival matters so much to so many people here. And this location, and Hamilton location, and Thunder Bay as well. So um, it's a good group of people, and they and they want more people to be able here to come uh, and join the team because. Um, they know that the opportunity for a new wave of shipbuilding here, because I've explained to them, I've got to see shipbuilding go from a boom and bust to uh, a real industry on the East Coast. So to be able to see it uh, in its in its early stages here is uh, is pretty exciting. So uh, they're excited for it. You know, Tyler, we've talked to a lot of people in the uh, both in the Hamilton Yard and right here in St. Catharines, and uh, a lot of them started right from the bottom. They came yeah. in right at the bottom and handle allowed them the opportunity to grow and uh, you know experience new things and grow in leadership roles that's pretty special yeah there's uh, they're willing to west invest from within so we're always gonna be looking to recruit from outside but you got to build from within too so there's so many opportunities for uh, different training we have so much training on the go in-house there's uh, the programs that they're willing to do for training, of course, apprenticeship programs. They, they they're really pushing apprenticeship programs for give people skills from within. Um, I'm hired from within, so it's just another example of, you know, if you uh, hit the ground running and willing to work hard and work smart, work safe, then uh, they're willing to uh, invest in you, just like and it gives you the opportunity to invest in the company. There's no uh, doubt about it, man. There's some hard work going on here, oh, yeah, and, and safe, right? Yeah. It's shipbuilding, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's an industry that's uh, you take. You got to take safety very seriously because it's, uh, it's a lot of steel. It's metal. Everybody comes out, goes home uh, through the gate the way they came in, right? That's right? Absolutely. Listen, you've been around, as I say, a lot of ships, uh, a lot of ships that are off 
serving our country, with men and women that yeah. are serving our country. It must feel pretty special for a guy like you to be a part of that because you are serving our country. You must feel that pride. Well, the indirect side of it, you do see that, but then even recently having a Remembrance Day and things like that are an opportunity to reflect on that. So knowing that we had the opportunity to work with the Coast Guard on projects and Navy and stuff like that, um, and even too, you get to build a relationship with people, uh, the client, let's say, uh, like the Amundsen as an example, you get to uh, meet with the, uh, the, oh, sorry about the phone, no but we'll get rid of that. You take well, that call if you want. No, no, no. Uh, but anyway, so we have the opportunity to work with them, and then you get that closer connection with it. So it, it, it helps you, it reminds you of, of, of how you're, you're providing a service, but you're providing a service that extends to other services, other, other, other areas. Tyler, been an absolute pleasure to be in conversation with you. As you say, you're no stranger to being around ships. We certainly are glad that you took your talent and all that expertise right here no. to Heddle Shipyard. And this is what the future of shipbuilding looks like in our country. I got to tell you, pride in Nova Scotia right there in St. Catharines, Ontario. That's Thanks great. for joining us. Thank you.